A lot of hotels will claim they're historic simply because they're old. Not a lot to write home about there. And then there's the case of the legendary Raffles Hotel here in Singapore. It's old, okay, opened in 1887, but it's loaded with rich and colorful history, immortalized by writers like Rudyard Kipling, Somerset Maugham, and Ernest Hemingway. And believe me, they had a lot to write home about. Singapore remains a thriving island nation in Southeast Asia. In fact, it's the fourth largest financial center in the world. It's also a former British colony with a rich past. Want to find that history? Then look for the old legendary hotels, like Raffles. You walk through the front doors of this hotel and there's an immediate sense of calm, of, of timelessness. You could be entering into an old plantation house of a century ago and you hear the clock ticking. You're walking on the same wood that Somerset Maugham, Rudyard Kipling, yep. Ernest Hemingway. Yeah. They probably scuff that board as we walk <laughs> over it. But it's not just the writers who helped make Raffles famous. Celebrities, politicians, even royalty have called this hotel home. That and resident historian job. Leslie Danker has met most of them. I mean, what's amazing to me about this hotel is that every three feet, there's someone you recognize. And you had the Queen, of course, the Queen was The here. Queen of England came here in 2006. I also met up with the Queen of England. And so much so that we have uh, pictures of all the Wait things. a minute, you forgot Elizabeth Taylor. Uh-oh, yes. Elizabeth Taylor came here twice. There's one more thing Raffles Hotel is famous for, something you might even know yourself. A lot of people, tourists, all come because you cannot leave Singapore without tasting a Singapore steak. So that's who I blame. You blame him? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> One sling is okay, but not too many, you know? That's why I blame him. 